Aloha, my name is Kurt Lieber and I'm the president and founder of Ocean Defenders Alliance. This is a short video about how plastic fishing lines can create havoc for some of Hawaii's iconic marine mammals, turtles, corals, and fish. You probably love Hawaii's rich diversity of marine life as much as I do. 30% of the fish found here are endemic, meaning they can't be found anywhere else in the world. Others like humpback whales come here in the winter months to enjoy the warm waters, have their babies, and then mate before they migrate up to Alaska. Spinner dolphins can be seen here year-round and are a huge part of the dive tourism industry. Who doesn't want to swim with one of these wild dolphins? Turtles are another iconic animal of these islands and they play a vital role in the Hawaiian culture and religion. Unfortunately, humans are having a dramatic effect on their well-being. Whales, dolphins, seals, and turtles are getting entangled in active and abandoned fishing gear. Some of this gear is put in the water by commercial fishermen, but some of it is also left behind by recreational fishermen. Just about anywhere you go on these islands, you will see fishermen casting their lines from shore, hoping to hook a big one. Sometimes that big one may be a dolphin, a manta ray, or a turtle. They don't intentionally hook these animals, but when they cast their lines, there is no telling who is underwater when the hook drops down. And when the hooks reach the bottom, they can become caught on a coral head or a rock. The fishermen then cut their lines and leave it behind because they have no way to retrieve it. Ocean Defenders has partnered with several dive shops on these islands. One of them, Island Divers Hawaii, lets us charter their boat once a month when we take our volunteer divers out to local dive spots and drop down to remove as much of this ghost gear as we can in one dive. The dives can last up to one hour and we have pulled up hundreds of pounds of lead weights the fishermen use as well as tens of thousands of feet of fishing lines. Here's a case where a dolphin had a fishing hook embedded in her flesh right under her pectoral fin. It would be like you or I getting a hook stuck under our armpit. You can imagine how painful that would be every time you moved your arm. Dolphins obviously use their fins to swim, so they are severely impacted by these hooks. This diver eventually got the hook out because the dolphin was cooperating. Really amazing behavior. She has been seen by this diver many times since this incident and is doing just fine. Here we have a huge manta ray that had a hook and line wrapped around her massive wing and if left unattended would have eventually cut off half her fin, no doubt killing the animal. And as you can see it only takes a few feet of this fishing line to cause a lot of damage. Turtles come in contact with these lines even more frequently because they swim close to shore where they feed on the algae and corals. Some of them have become so entangled that they can hardly move. This one had her flipper completely severed and with the line wrapped around her neck, she slowly starved to death. Corals are also affected by these lines as they come in direct contact with them and leach the plastic's toxins into their bodies as it slowly degrades over time. How much time does it take for plastics to break down? Scientists say 450 years for a polypropylene line and 650 years for a nylon net. I hope you now are realizing how devastating this fishing gear can be on our native wildlife. It not only impacts their well-being, but it also affects the local economy. Tourists that see marine debris during their snorkeling or dive encounters are far less likely to visit again and will take their money elsewhere on their next vacation. So removing this debris has a direct impact on the health of the ecosystem as well as on the tourism industry that allows the island economy to thrive. We're all thankful to all the volunteers and dive shops that have helped us remove this ghost gear, both on Oahu and on the big island of Hawaii. But it's not cheap chartering these dive boats and supplying all the gear necessary to facilitate the debris removal. We need volunteers. We also need the financial support of the community. 
I hope you will consider making a donation to ODA Hawaii. As you can see from this video, we have already accomplished a lot, but with your donation, we could get a whole lot more done. Mahalo.